Peering out from behind vegetation, we see Earth's largest land mammal, an African elephant. The long trunk and huge floppy ears leave no doubt. Elephants are found on the plains of Africa, where they live in small family groups led by maternal leaders. But these elephants live in captivity in a place called Wildlife Safari in Winston, Oregon. For most of us working people, going to Africa to see this megafauna in situ is out of the question. But wildlife parks and zoos give us a chance to see African elephants closer to home. Wildlife Safari offers summer camps for children, and these kids are seeing this elephant close up, each camper feeding her a carrot and then getting to touch her sensitive trunk. This elephant is Valerie. She's trained. Look closely to see her treat fly into her mouth. Valerie, what do you think about being dirty? <laughs> Here's the highlight of the kids' summer camp, feeding the elephant and touching her trunk. How old is she? She's 34 years old. As the campers take their turns, others ask questions about the elephants. So a lot of times if they need to pick something off of the ground with their nose, they'll feel around with those whiskers first to make sure it's not something bad that they shouldn't be picking up. Kids learn about the functions of an elephant's they eat trunk. With them, they drink with them, they breathe through us, so it's pretty important to them. Does anyone have a guess to how much food they eat every day? Go ahead. They eat a lot of pounds. They eat about 200 pounds of food every day per elephant. So it's a pretty big job getting them their food. They eat about 150 to 175 pounds of hay every day. The rest is things like produce, which is what you guys are feeding for now. They even gave me a turn at feeding the elephant. Watch the treat fly into her mouth. Also, notice the hand signal the trainer gives to Valerie. Okay, guys, if you're gonna follow me, we're gonna head back through the barn. We'll keep you guys in the shade. It's pretty hot today. That's awesome. I don't know if this elephant was trained or if it had a name, but it did hang around during the presentation. Wildlife Safari has several elephants. And the park's greatest expense is feeding them and all the other animals people can see while driving through. That's probably the biggest challenge for the Oakland, California Zoo as well. You don't see these elephants lined up at a feeding trough. It's important to their health, physical, mental, and emotional, that they are challenged to find food in a different place each time. Now the challenge doesn't seem all that great, but it does keep them active. The body parts that make elephants so easy to identify help them survive in their natural habitats. Their great body size saves them from many but not all predators. Their long trunks help them locate food and move it to their mouths. And their big floppy ears, they help radiate excess body heat, helping them regulate their core temperature. Their white tusks help them fight off enemies but have also been a death warrant, prized for their ivory. Elephants are murdered in shocking numbers by poachers, a problem that has been addressed for some time by most governments, but still persists. Since those dental protrusions often cause serious health problems in captivity, 
those tusks are often cut short. This elephant is using its trunk to find food. The nostril end is very sensitive, telling the elephant what's edible and what's not. They can grab things with that trunk's end and bring the food up to their mouth. Elephants are not furry creatures, but they do have some widely spaced hairs on their craggy, sensitive skin. Their feet are round in shape, and their legs are like tree trunks, wide cylinders that support up to seven tons of weight. Africa has both savanna elephants and smaller forest elephants. Now, most elephants live in matriarchal groups of from 8 to 12 members, but there are herds of up to 100 elephants. Individual elephants never stop growing. They keep getting bigger until they die. Efforts continue to protect these magnificent animals. Elephant preserves and national parks exist in Africa to carry on this vital work.